Oh, I'm gonna miss that. Damn it. Oh, that was stupid of me. Oh my god. Hello again, friends and comrades, and welcome back to Air. Memories of Old. That's Air with an E in the middle. Let's get back to this. I think we, we left off. We were in the first temple of three, possibly four, if there's like a fourth final boss temple. But yeah, we can, we play as Auk. We can transform into a bird. Uh, although I can't do it in here. I guess I can't do it indoors or I can't do it in temples at least. I'm just gonna quickly get back to where we left off. When we see these floating like characters in the air, I can actually pull out a lantern and they are, I don't know, the remnants of a past, past people. I don't know. They're like ghosts. Now we're gonna get back to where we left off, just up here. The steli. I think I read this last time though, didn't I? Both her sky hands, bringing balance to light and shadow. With her right hand, she releases the sun to let people back from the dream. With her left, she flings the moon into the night sky so that people may dream at all. She is the heartbeat of the seasons, at the center of the world, the breath of life and order. That steli, rightly or wrongly, that steli kind of reminds me of the the things that you read in the Zora domain and Breath of the Wild on this kind of pain in the ass quest to get a Zora helm. It's only really a pain in the ass because a couple of those stellies are pretty well hidden. Um, just a couple of them. I think you have to get ten of them. Ten, if I'm not mistaken. Twelve, if I am mistaken. We left off just up here, and I'm just gonna confirm. Does this oh, does this basically not take me back to the beginning? Okay, what's going on in here? Aha! Standard jumping puzzle. It's the thing I have to collect, right? There's no hidden collectibles. Oh yeah, making progress here. I'm in love with the art style of this game. It's nice and simplified and yet very stylistic very styling would be well my lantern right okay just light the way okay oh okay I just opened up a new path to this room again so I'm guessing if I if I were to like quit it would at least save my progress there right like that door would still be open No, let's, let's see what's up here. Oh, okay, jumping puzzles. Let's go. So far, this game hasn't really offered anything in the way of, like, dangerous enemies. You know, something that would attack me. Uh, or animals that would eat me as a bird. Um, I've seen other birds. I've seen, like, pelicans and stuff. The mushroom. But I don't think I've seen anything that can actually harm me. I'm not complaining. Not every game needs that, you know? Um, certainly, Amzu didn't have such a thing. I'm just gonna enjoy the environment. Nice, like a torn banner there. I don't know what happened to these people, these ghosts. Well, that's a... Uh, ooh, headless statue of... What's her name? Maven or something? The, uh... Oh, no, no. Um, it starts with a K. The lady who had this torch originally. Okay, well, I have found a moon door. Read part two. Help them. The other animals looked stunned. Yes, Fox said. Their minds see eternity, and they are lost and afraid. They need something to hold on to, but they will harm themselves, the lands, and us. What do you propose? asked the hare. I propose a pact, said the fox. If one of them can talk to us, we offer him the bond with the land. Fox continued, if he accepts, he can take the shape of one of us, the one he made a pact with. 
and he will be one with the land and still see beyond the veil, and he can guide and guard his people, and so we will all be at peace. The other animals saw the wisdom in this and agreed to it, and so some humans can become one with the world, and the chosen were called the Whisperers. Okay, but that's part two. Where's part one? Is this part one? Okay. I just read it backwards. I'm like a dummy. Let's read part one. When the world was still new and the creator had drawn the lands, the spirit animals gathered to talk. The fox said, There are new animals around. They walk on two feet. A crane said, A new bird? The fox shook its head and said, No, they have wings. They have no wings. The monkey said, I have seen them too. They are without fur and they cannot climb very well. And an owl said, They fear the night and drive it away with fire. And an otter said, They build nests on the land, but they are not one with it. A deer said they are loud and do not know how to walk in the woods. The bear said they are like cubs who do not know the way home. And the fox cocked its head and said, Yes, that is why we have to help them. That's a very nice story, especially with that second part added to it. That's your task. You can now watch this video in reverse and have that story in a proper order. <laughs> I cannot interact with that. Um, I wonder if that's an actual existing indigenous myth somewhere? Indigenous, uh, like, origin story or spirit story? However, I should refer to those. Or if it was entirely made up for this game. Um, certainly it has, like, that kind of, kind of style, that kind of narratology. And, and okay, there's obviously, like, I'm not gonna die if I fall down there. There's also this door. With stairs. There we go. Aha! Something I can interact with. And... Can I stand on these mushrooms? Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Now, can I get over this gate? No, I cannot. Try one more time just to make sure. Yeah, okay. Doesn't seem like I can get over that. What is that? That's a that's a rat? Is it where is that a rat wearing a fez? <laughs> oh no, it's just its ear. Okay, never mind. Hello little mouse or rat. Power up. Yes, okay, power on. So I really can only choose these two directions. Um. Okay, power down. Just like I don't know what I would need it in that direction for. Aha! Uh -huh, I see the puzzles are now starting to ramp up. Ah. Oh. Can these each only turn it a certain way? Oh, so maybe if I turn them all to sun. Or should I have turned them all to moon? Okay. That's now on sun. I think I'm supposed to turn it to moon, aren't I? Definitely screwed something up. <laughs> Could I have screwed something up? I don't know. Let's just keep wandering around. Let's see if I turn them all to the moon. If this doesn't work, then I'm guessing I have to do something 
with thinking about a clock like are these oh maybe this will work Okay, okay, okay. Um, all right, clearly, there's there's one, I think it was the one up here that can turn it like just one step. And I think that's gonna be what I need to do. Let's, oh, no, not quite. Aha, okay, so we are gonna, struggle with this a little bit. <laughs> I think I just have to aim it at the door, right? Crap. Okay. If I can just get it, like, aimed... If I can get it aimed directly away from the door, I know how to turn it around. It's, it's like way too much swing. Um, how much does this turn again? I need to like actually commit my memory to this. Aha. Oh, actually says right there how much it turns. I am a tool. Okay, maybe, maybe if I just hit this one now. This one clearly has to be sun. This one. Oh. Okay, okay. This might work. This might work. I'll skip this one. Go all the way over there. Wrong way. Way. Okay, but. I spin it there. And then I hit this one over here. Ah, and now. This one over here. Yes, got it. Got you. We're gonna power on this place so bad. We're gonna start charging all our cell phones from here. Oh, crap. Yes, hello, little rat. You dirty rat. You killed my brother. Ooh. Uh, that's a dead end. Ah. I can see this burning laser beam. And now we can power on these things. Okay, that's all I have to do, right? It's just line it up like that. This step is much easier than the previous step. subconsciously just search for collectibles. And in most games, I'm not that good at finding them, but that's not a door. I can't open that. I guess it'd be too easy if I could turn into a bird here, eh? Get 
do wonder if I'm going to get other animals to turn into. Okay, we can go this way. Hello? Jesus, this door has been stuck for a very long time. I wonder if there's even anything on the other side. I don't know. Those poor fools. I guess we're going to switch the bridge back. Yes, good. What does that take me to? Nothing important. Okay. Aha. Ah, we're gonna lower this bridge. Very nice. this read part two no, no no i'm not gonna make that mistake again part one first i am kara of the thunder islands i had a strange dream that i will record here so that many so that others may perhaps understand its meaning as i did i had come to study the holy carvings in the lighthouse in the land of the gods trying to understand our heritage as i reached out to touch some of the runes it felt suddenly felt as if a warm hand passed over my eyes and I fell asleep on, a, on the sacred stone. In my dream, it seemed to me that the stone beneath me glowed from within, forming a staircase up into the starry sky. Far away on these steps, a golden light grew and drew close. Stars flew from the sky and became someone who had the shape of music and was gentle and sad. <clears throat> well, better the shape of music than the shape of water. Which is a good movie, don't get me wrong. The gods spoke to me not in words, but, of, but in memories and feelings. He warned me of a terrible greed from beyond, a void in the hearts of men. As he showed it to me, I felt, a, I felt it stir and come between us, darkening the golden steps like a storm cloud, cold as eternity. Terrified, I cried out at the pull of his dark void, and I awoke. I could not speak for three days, but I set out to the ancient temples immediately. If what I have seen is true, the gods are alive and they need our help, as we need theirs. I don't need their help. No gods, no masters. We can do this ourselves. Uh, there's no map, right? Oh, there is, but... Not for indoors. Okay. I would like to have some sense of where I am in relation to where I entered. <laughs> um, can't open doors. There's nothing at all back here. Huge architecture. Lots of trees inside. I like it. I'm digging it. Okay, uh, and we have more... More to do up there. Wow, there's a lot of branching paths. I really like to... Oh, hey! Never mind, this is where... That's where I started off. Okay, so that's the door I opened earlier. We have another big stelly up here. Man has paws that cannot run, but chases longingly, longingly the sun. Man has wings that cannot fly, but he will always seek the sky. Man has eyes that cannot see, but watch eternity. Man is lost, unknowingly in danger. To his own mind, always a stranger. Yes, but the animals, they can help us, right? I accept that, and that humans are dumb and limited, and we need help. Oh, it's just gonna open a door. That's nice. Oh. I hope it's not gonna be on a timer, because that would be a bit of a drag. Okay, gotta go up. Oh, don't wanna go 
go that way. No, it's a dead end. So, I don't know if Oak, Oak can... can't fly in here, but she's a good jumper. She's very fleet of foot. See where the last one is. I just oh, there's two more. Never mind. Okay, this will lead us up, uh, up and around. And last one is near the door. Okay. the bird didn't vanish there, but it's kind of a nice camera angle. Bird flying to the door, the door opens. Okay. Can't get up there. But we are going to lower another drawbridge. There, if anyone wants to besiege this place, <laughs> it's ripe for the taking. There's no war on these floating islands. It's a peaceful place. <clears throat> Probably because the islands are floating, and I don't know if everyone can turn into birds like Alk can. So, I mean, if you don't have neighbors, you don't have any wars, right? This game is very good at... Uh, oh. People in this game are very good at, at isolating and quarantining. So this is the first god I'm speaking to, yeah? Come here, little bird. A very long time ago, your people addressed me as the Twilight Guardian. Sitting at the border of dusk and dawn, ensuring safe travel on the path to the land of dreams and back again. Even after the Great Divine, I was there, watching as your priestess Kara led the people to safe shores here in my temple. When... Those ghosts didn't all look safe, but <laughs> a long time I have waited for this moment to come. I have grown weak, but for the power I was lent tethering me to your world. Listen carefully, little bird. Once again, the void has awakened with a great hunger, this time to devour all that is left of our world. All the, like, fragments of islands, I guess. But there is still a chance to stop him. Priestess Kara hid three fragments of great power, one in each temple. You have to make the three fragments one again. I will give you the part I was given for safekeeping. Without it, I will fade into oblivion. It has been my link to this world since the time the gods were lost to the minds of men. But we cannot wait. Please accept my fragment and finish what was started so long ago. Wow, okay, that fragment is bigger than me. I can't carry that. Don't touch yourself. Don't hit yourself. No. <clears throat> well, that's one god down. villain. Uh oh, okay. And this will take me out of the temple, I'm guessing. Just like in Zelda, every time you beat the final boss of the dungeon, there's like a little pillar of light you can enter and get to the uh, entrance again. It's very nice. Here we go. So we're back at the Twilight Lake. Uh... Where, where is the Twilight Lake? Uh, 
Oh, did I just like collapse that place? No, 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 don't land head first in the rock. You just died. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful world. I feel like I just destroyed this place. Oh, I can like float now? Wow, Ankh, you are super magical. Okay, so I think I should probably go visit Dinah. Oops, no. She'll tell me where to go. I'm gonna fly through a cloud. Oh, that's so cool. That's really cool. Uh, am I going the right way? Yes. I should look for kites, right? This cloud. Very cool. Very cool. I love that. I'm going to be doing as much of that as I can possibly get away with. The settlement. Honestly, it would help if they still had kites. No, don't overshoot the island. Holy crap. back again, Ock. I hope your travels are easy on you. Erin is over her head and ears with joy that a real bird shifter came to visit. I'm a bird shifter. I like it. Uh, to the north, when we stopped for a short rest by the hot springs, she was gone in a heartbeat. We looked all over. The storm of the howling peaks was less intense back then, but it was very cold. We found a cave nearby and went on, uh, went on in to see if she, can, she had gone in there, but she has a certain affinity for hidden places. As it turned out, the spirit bear of the north had just recently moved there. Aaron sat on his back, talking about everything between sun and moon. Should I be proud or worried? Well, I always ran away at her age, but who am I to judge? Let's see, getting nostalgic here. Uh, pilgrimage, let's see. Next step is usually the archives, temple to the east. The ancients built monuments and cities there, more so than the west and the north. Okay, we're going just going east. Okay, we can do that. Bye bye. We're gonna go and explore. Gorgeous. They really need is like a hidden island somewhere inside a cloud. If I can follow that, that, like, that wind path, I can get a boost of speed, right? Okay, what do we got here? Something. I kind of need, like, takes to- oh, no, no, don't- <laughs> I don't want to fall to the earth. It's probably, like, nothing good down there. read this, okay. Of Urja, which we loved, lost and longed for, city of cities, bright and dead. The white swan of marble raising her long neck elegantly into the purple sky. Her eyes, a thousand souls, swimming the lake of the never-ending afternoon in the heart of spring. Her song, a million hearts, praising the beauty of life, undiminished and brief, a petal on the wind of fall. White swan of marble folding her luminous wings silently in the ashen dusk, never to be seen again. Okay. I feel like I need to open these and like let the wind pass through or something. But I don't really know where to start. I can see a lot more of them in the distance. Hey, here's something. 
Oh, uh, for a moment there, I thought like, oh no, wolves. I'm dead. But no, they were okay. Just like deer or something. Oh, okay. I can open. Is that just one that opens or is that all of them? All of them. Okay. Ooh, okay. So there's going to be like a test, right? I have to fly through all of them in a ring. how we open that door, I'm guessing. Alright, let's get this started. We're gonna start with this one, because it looks like it's kind of lower. And then the other one I think was... I have no idea. Okay, but we're gonna try this. We're gonna... Whoa! Okay, yes, that's quite the boost of speed. that hard. I see the other one. It's only three, right? It's a nice fragmented islands. Uh, oh, back down here. Oh, no, no, no. Don't. <laughs> Don't die. back here. Aha! I did it! Open sesame. I'm not gonna fly in. I'm gonna walk in. I treat this place with respect. Because it's ancient. Older than Kara. Do I get to meet Kara at some point? Discovered the heartwood. All right, let's see what kind of damage we can do to this place. Oh, I see the first thing ominous in this game. The first thing that looks like it can threaten me. Can't transform in here, of course. Oh my god. Oh, it's like a trapped spirit or something. Is that you, Kara? No, that can't be right. Who are you? I need to get out. Out. I am weak. It's the rock. It's not of this world. The rift further down in the cavern. Close it. Okay, Mr. Deer Spirit. Calamity Ganon has been at work here. We're gonna put an end to it. Beautiful colors. I like I love purple. I'm a huge fan of purple. Okay, I see the I see the platforming puzzle. Oh, I'm gonna miss that, damn it. <laughs> okay, I understand the assignment now. And I like the sound that island makes. And I love purple. Have I mentioned that? I don't think I can make that jump, so I have to go over there and then get onto a higher island. Oh, holy crap, that void looks crazy. Crazy dangerous. I don't know why it's draining the energy from that reindeer spirit, but find out. That stag. Um. Shoot it, okay. Oh, that was stupid of me. <laughs> okay, we'll get it this time, don't worry. So I probably should have 
gone to like a lower island? Because that one's high up, but it's far away from the center. I'll get the hang of it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I got it. Step one. Yeah, having to move from that higher up island to that lower middle island. That's the challenge. Okay, let's do this. We're ready. Yeah, that looks threatening. That looks void-like. Oops. Okay, I wasn't quite... I wasn't quite ready for that jump. Let's get the next one. Only the one mid island. Oh my god, how did I mess that up? Yikes. <laughs> Time to charm. I wish I could run faster. That's the only thing I wish. Of course, I can't transform into a bird in here. That would make all the jumping puzzles pretty moot. So. Good on you, designers. For forbidding the easy way out. Void is like a television. I can just turn it off and on. <laughs> and now, one of those stags. It looks like it's from the movie Annihilation. It's free. I can go talk to him. It's, or her. Him or her. It. I don't think deities would have a gender or sex. I think they would just have... themselves. You, you did it. I feel much better already, thank you. I was beginning to fear a fate where I would fade away. Oroku's men took hold of my home. They wanted the magic of this place. I fought for so long, but I am just one and they were so many. At least I kept the most important secret. And it's the one you're looking for too, isn't it? I have what you need. Here, take this key. It was my task to protect it, and so have I. So I have. Thanks again, young one. I'll leave the rest to you now. You're gonna, like, power up my lantern? Okay. Um, is so he gonna tell me where to go next? Because... <laughs> no, he's not gonna tell me where to go next. So, I mean, at this point, I could... Go and see Dinah, and she'll tell me where to go next. She's pretty good like that. Very handy. Almost makes me wish I had cell phones in this game. Almost. But I am okay flying the distance because it's quite a nice game to explore. And here's the fox. Okay, hello. I'm gonna guess that the fox is gonna betray me at some point and be like, I'm the void. <laughs> oh, my friend, what leads a bird to the east and to visit Leafla on top of that. Oh, so she held the key all this time. Use it where it belongs, further east and a dash north. Close to my home, to be true. But answer me this. How come temples lead downwards when people look up to the sky for answers? It has eluded me for centuries. But that's fine. Humans are special creatures, to say the least. It's true, we can see eternity. Not that I'm 100% sure what that means, but... So this key is for the second temple, right? Like, I didn't just get the second 
No, I, no, I have to get like a second part of a disc. Okay. I'm gonna leave this nice loving, loving area and go to another lovely, lovely area. I don't need that anymore. Definitely go through the clouds here. Ruins of On. this. Looks like a monument. What you guys doing? I remember this place being here. Are the lands drifting in the wind? We need to hurry if we want to reach someplace safe. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the islands are moving, eh? It's probably not comforting. <laughs> it's actually really quite unsettling. Um, it's these little islands here. It looks like this is a broken sewer drain with a giant dump truck wheel. I know there's gonna be some sort of eco message to this game too, right? There's nothing in there. Just something to read, okay. The clans of the South are proud people. Even now, before the threat of the so-called God King Koroku, they will not bow. Before the cities of Urja and An were built, many of the shifters chose the deer as their spirit animal, protector. But slowly, their spirits succumbed to the sadness. They blamed the gods for the darkness in the world. The darkness invited into their hearts spread further. If this is true, then so is the opposite. Existence of light, and there is hope. I am Kashar of the Eastern Islands, and the first shifter in ten generations. My spirit animal chose me, and I will fight. I will travel north to the monastery to join the other priests. Okay, all this talk of fighting, uh... I am kind of hoping that there's no violence in this game. I would like... I'd like this game to remain kind of nice and casual. Looks like I found a little village. Oh, I always forget that I keep my momentum. <laughs> What's up, gang? Mayor, open the door. Are you just going to let these soldiers overrun your city? Stop cowering and come out. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so these people were all killed. That's... It's not very pleasant. Oh my god, I can actually see violence. My virgin eyes. What have I seen? I need to go rinse them out. I need an eye wash fountain. Part one. To Gorion of the Storm Islands from this from his son Tazo. Father, it's with sorrow that I must tell you of the loss of the Snow Crane Library. The palace guard of the city of An came in the night, carrying weapons and shouting in the name of their king, Koroku. Oh no. They destroyed and burned houses and scrolls alike and would have burned us too had we not been able to escape. We watched from a safe distance, keeping close the few precious scrolls we had saved before the edict of fire turned into the ever-burning library. We will journey to the monastery in the northwest to place the scrolls in its safety. I trust that it's too far away for Kuroku's wrath and too poor to excite his greed. Your crane will lead us until the snow line and then return home south with my letter to you. I hope he finds you well. Interesting. Now, did I see... Did I see a fox over here with two tails? Somewhere? I really did think I saw a fox, but... Yes, he's right there. You're not the spirit I saw. You have two fox, two tails, though. My god, exactly like tails from Sonic the Hedgehog. I 
of assume that... Oh, this looks important. I was going to say, I kind of assume there might be more scenes of violence around here, but... What are you all doing? Oh, no. The God King demands changes. By royal decree of God King Koroku, King of Kings and God of Gods, all must bow to him, the only God. His and his alone are all the lands of the East and the lands of the gods. Bend the knee and be spared. Resist and see the last of your days. Such is the will of the God King Koroku now and forever, written in the tenth year of the Heron in his great city of On. Yes, okay. So. Seems like I have some sort of enemy. Um, I just don't know if I'm gonna see this enemy or not. Oh, ow. Sorry, let me just check something here. Aha. Okay. I think I'm gonna leave the game here. Um, my timer wasn't actually timing the whole time. God. Super annoying. So, I'm gonna leave this destruction behind and find this temple next time. Uh, from here, it's probably just north. Probably just, like, right up here. But, uh, thank you so much for watching so far. I hope you like this as much as I do. I actually really enjoy this quite a lot. And all of its simplicity. Um, I will play this again on Wednesday. We'll get this next temple done. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. And uh, I'll follow you... Uh... Oh my god, what the hell happened there? I'll catch you next time. Friends and comrades, be seeing ya!